ASOC's credit card extension provides credit card processing, transaction management, and tracking in the Microsoft Dynamics GP sales order processing, cash receipts, and receivable transaction entry windows. ASOC CCE integrates with multiple gateways, providing reliable service and a PCI compliant solution for credit card processing within Microsoft Dynamics GP. It supports pre OS, post OS, sales, void, credit, transactions, all within Dynamics GP. Credit card encryption, batch processing, and real time verification is a standard part of the product. To authorize this particular order, click on the Transact button in the credit card authorization window. The credit card transaction entry window will open and there will you have access to a lookup multiple credit cards that are stored on a file on that particular customer. The credit card information, like expiration date, can be updated and saved and new cards can be added and deleted. After selecting the desired credit card number, clicking process will prompt the user if they want to authorize the transaction. A result code will then be displayed from your gateway after the transaction showing if it has been approved or declined. The authorization reference number will be recorded and is linked to that sales transaction entry master number. Users also have the ability to issue a post authorization which references a prior authorization and charges the customer's credit card. To post authorize simply open the existing document you want to process and click on the amount received arrow. This will bring up the sales pay payment entry window where you will then select the payment or deposit type. After this, highlight the authorization in the credit card authorization window below. Click on the Transact button and the credit card transaction entry window will open. Click Process and then you'll be prompted to confirm the post authorization. A result code will appear and a credit card re transaction receipt will appear following so you can print the transaction report. The amount received will then be updated to the amount that was post authorized in the sales transaction entry window. Additionally, users can process a direct charge to a customer's credit card that does not reference a prior post authorization. Credit card extension also supports transactions through multiple windows and in the following instance, we will process a sale in the receivable transaction entry window. To issue a direct sale for a receivable document, the user simply chooses the document type, selects the customer ID and batch ID. The user then enters the credit card amount that they want to pay off, in this case $34, leaving $238 on account. Once the user tabs onto the credit card field, the credit card authorization window will appear. Clicking Transact will open the credit card transaction entry window where the user can select multiple credit cards on file. Then click Process and you will be prompted if you want to submit the sales transaction and a result code will appear. After Transaction Receipt window will open up where you can print a report of the screen, printer, or on file. Credit card extension also lets you void and reverse a sale or post authorization transaction that has not yet been settled. In the transaction entry window, we will select a document with a credit card payment we want to void. We click void in the credit card authorization window and the credit card transaction entry window will appear with the data corresponding with the selected payment. Click process and a message will appear confirming if you want to avoid the transaction. This concludes our preview of the Azox credit card extension and just some of the features it can perform. If you would like more in-depth info or a demo of the solution, please contact sales at azox.com or call us directly at 734-928-6010.